The Julian Assange extradition case is important to Amnesty International for a couple of reasons. First of all, Julian Assange is facing extradition to the US to face espionage charges for publishing classified information. Now, journalists and publishers receive classified information from anonymous sources sometimes all the time, and often they publish this information when it's in the public interest. For example, when it exposes widespread human rights violations. And that's something that is protected by international human rights law. And so it's really concerning that Julian Assange is facing extradition to the US. Uh, if this case succeeds and the US do successfully extradite him, then journalists everywhere are going to have to look over their shoulders to make sure that they don't face extradition if they publish uh, evidence of US or other countries' wrongdoing. Now, the second reason and the development that we had today is to do with assurances against torture. We're concerned that the US assurances that Julian Assange wouldn't be held in long-term solitary confinement are deeply problematic. We don't think they're worth the paper they're written on because where a state routinely holds people in long-term solitary confinement, and, and let's be clear, long-term solitary confinement is torture. It constitutes torture or other ill treatment under international law. Where states do this kind of practice routinely, it really cannot be said that their insurances are worth the paper that they're written on, because a torturing state is not a trustworthy state. The High Court in London ruled that there is a point of general public importance in the Julian Assange case, and this means that the, US, the UK Supreme Court can consider hearing that appeal. It's not granted. There's no guarantee that the UK Supreme Court will hear the appeal, but it's certainly looking much more likely than it did. And it's a necessary step for it to get there that the High Court agree that there's a point of general public importance. The general point of public importance that the High Court found in this case concerns when in an extradition hearing, assurances against torture can be provided. Um, the US, in this case, have quite sneakily brought them in quite late in the proceedings, long after the magistrate's court considered that Julian Assange could not be extradited. Uh, the, there were another two grounds or issues that the Julian Assange team wished to be brought before the UK Supreme Court, and unfortunately those were not accepted to be of general public importance by the High Court, and so those will now end now. And that's, that's, that's deeply concerning from Amnesty International's perspective because we believe that diplomatic assurances of, the, assurances of these nature are, as I say, not worth the paper they're written on and deserve the utmost scrutiny. So although we very much welcome that this case will proceed to the UK Supreme Court, we are quite disappointed that those additional crowns were rejected by the High Court today.